Hey guys, what's going on? Just got in my Model 2 XTS 5000 Q Split. This is a beautiful radio. There's not a mark on the radio. I can't believe it. It's FM approved, intrinsically safe. The screen is just screen. Let me turn these down. This one down. The screen is virgin on it. Uh, put an FDNY knob on it. Man, I tell you, taking those FDNY knobs or taking those stock knobs off is a bitch. Uh, again, the insert came off in the knob. Uh, but I have spare inserts, so that worked out good. I need to swap out the antenna for what I did with this one was I put a longer Moto Turbo antenna on it. And these antennas are exceptional. And they're superior to uh, the stubby versions in every regard but uh, so I've got this in the one in the center's in it's a Q split this one was actually a uh, came from Fort Bragg go ahead and that Jedi mic it also came with came with a real nice impressed battery And we'll take a look at the charge here in a minute. And it's intrinsically safe as well. It took to the CPS just fine. I do like there's this okay, this uh this type of let me get a shadow shadow off of it. This type of uh menu key is nice but this is even nicer I think I like the way that they raised the reliefs on here so you know what exactly what you're pushing and you can do that on on the XTS 5000 as well it's just a smudge I believe yeah it could be a scuff I don't know but uh, yeah, there's just not a mark on this unit. It's just beautiful. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take it. I've got a new case. I'm not going to rehouse radios that look this good. There's no point in it. I'll wipe it off a little bit. No point in it. Uh, when they look this good, they're fine. Tags. Tags are important. Uh, people have asked me about tags and you need to get a radio with tags if you get a radio without tags there have been uh, there was a Motorola plant overseas that uh, burnt down and uh, it has a uh, there was I guess a section of the, of the Motorola plant that didn't burn down and they they had all their uh, surplus in that area well word is uh, that they actually had to sell that surplus they sold it without tags and you don't know if those things went through quality control or not also accelerated life testing uh, those radios can be accelerated life test radios so while they may look brand new, tags are the last thing that goes on a radio. And when tags aren't on a radio, chances are that uh, it hasn't gone through quality control or, well, several things, but it could have the ACL testing, it could be accelerated life tested you just don't know and you get a radio with tags all these have tags 
but you get a radio with tags and you know what you got this one is an R I believe yeah it is okay XTS 5000 R so this is a ruggedized version with a gas gas plug I guess they don't put that on I don't know uh, maybe they don't put that on the this is just a 5000 see this one gas plugs I think they just put on the R's it's a pressurized uh, they pressurize it for water tight I guess something like that on this one Mike uh, mentioned about on the back here do not block vents older radios uh, and I just found this out uh, older radios don't have do not block vent it's just a black uh, a black screen so the tags are very important this one isn't FM approved it's not intrinsically safe so it doesn't have that that one but these are the important tags you need and if you've got an intrinsically safe radio or somebody says it's intrinsically safe make sure you've got an FM approved tag on it if not uh, be careful using that thing uh, in areas that might spark uh, but anyway yeah this is a really let me get this thing back on here these are really good radios that's not the battery I need there it is I've got a lithium ion battery for this what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this model 2 I've got a model 3 the guy actually shipped it whether it turns out to be bricks in a box I'll never I won't know until I get it uh, he's been he's been straight up so far uh, so I think I may be getting that uh, model 3 uh, model 3 2500 in because it has shipped and it's shipped via UPS it's VHF it's FPP it does need a firmware upgrade uh, because it doesn't have Q53 no it's got Q53 it doesn't have Q52 you've got to have Q52 and Q53 they there is a thing called a dongle and uh, even with FPP radios uh, that don't have Q52 require a dongle which is an attachment that you put on the radio much like these audio adapters and it's like a key and uh, it's kinda like the JT1000's I hate JT1000's uh, their their screens go dead they're they're just crap uh, they're the bad they're the bad idea I don't know they're FPP, but I, I've never seen a JT5 or JT, uh, JT1000 uh, that uh, I really liked because those radios have a lot of problems. Uh, they've been recalled, and of course, you know, just about everything gets recalled. But uh, anyway, yeah, this Model 2 is in beautiful shape. Doesn't need a recase. It's nice the way it is. It's Q split. The flash code on it's really, really good. Uh, this flash code, this radio is loaded. This radio also is has uh, AES encryption in it, so it does have encryption, and it's hardware encryption. So that is this will be the first radio I have that actually has uh, encryption. Let's see what the battery strength is on this. Uh, oh, I guess I need to program that in. It's not in the menu. Yep, I need to add some more menu things on it. All I did was I just uh, put in a test, a test channel, and uh, got this to set the light, this to talk around direct, this to scan, and reset the clock let's see here but these are really really nice radios 
Yeah, I've got the top set for. Uh, it's got a real nice backlighting. If this radio was fielded, it wasn't fielded fielded much. Uh, I don't believe it was. Looking at it, I'd be surprised. I really would. I can tell there's telltale signs of wear on edges and especially on the fronts if they've been riding in the case and on the bottom. You can tell if they've been fielded. This one, especially if you sit down in the car, you're going to scrape the sides with your seat belt sometimes. You know, I mean, you can. there are telltale signs. It's, it's obvious. Also, the straps come down and you have a couple lines uh, showing on the label. This doesn't have it. These don't have it. Of course, these are new. That one. Other than that screen, other than the screen having scuffs on it, uh, you know, I could swap it out with a case that I've got and make it look new, which I probably will. It'll probably get to me. But uh, to have something like that bother me is really, really kind of silly. Uh, it doesn't bother me right now, so I'm not really worried about it. In fact, it's a, it's actually, I'd rather take a case that looks good like this, but does have a couple scratches on the screen. I'd rather actually use that uh, a little more uh, and not 